Hey there, Ryan Kingsline here with another ZBrush tutorial. Only not quite. In my hand is a whole bunch of oil brushes, oil paint brushes that I use. And what I want to talk about today is, is oil painting a technology? If Leonardo da Vinci was around today, what would he be doing? Wasn't he one of the main first proponents of oil painting as a technology? so to speak. So in my hand we see brushes and we might look at these brushes and think of them as what? Let's just say simply you know a handle, ferrule, and then in this case some kind of ox hair or something else, right? Real simple brush, um, but brushes are much more advanced than that. I'm going to show you two different types. In fact, let's grab this one over here, not there, this one. This hasn't been used. It's a little dirty, but it basically hasn't been used at all. This is the same, but it's been used. And you can see it's worn away and it's become dense and you could think, you know, okay, well, it's being destroyed and it's going away, but no, this is actually when they become very useful to me. I want brushes to get worn down like this because then this is a totally different stroke. It's not a brush. It's not a normal stroke. This is another brush. It's been worn away, only it's worn away unevenly, so we've got these like little tendrils left. This has evolved into a more powerful brush for me. The system that I use is use the brushes until you get these beauties and then keep these beauties for as long as you can, but keep using these guys so that you get this. These are the brushes I want to be using because this is where the power is. The brush is different, the stroke is different, the paint application is different. That gives me more texture, more quality, more life, and it's different than anything else. Fan brush, right? It's a whole lot of technology in there. It's more than just the simple, you know, hair, ferrule, and wood. It's also straight line, then it's thick line, thin, varying thickness. You can rub, you know, there's all kinds of ways that this is used for rounding form. Some people have used it for happy clouds and trees, right? All kinds of things. That, but this is at the end of the day, a technology. Another technology for applying oil paint is simply paper towel or a sock, just rubbing the paint onto it. But either way, as primitive as these may look, they're very far from primitive. This brush evolving into this brush takes a system and takes, you know, a constant application. Some people cut their brushes to get the shape that they want. Some people simply sit there and use them or put them against sandpaper or whatever to kind of get them worn into it. But it's my hypnosis that oil painting is as much of a technology as ZBrush. And ZBrush is as much of an art form or a medium as oil paint is. You tell me what you think, but that's my hypnosis. So sign up for my CERT program. Registration should be open. Uh, or check me out at ryankingsline.com. Tell me what you think below this video. All the best. Talk to you soon.